Okay, today is pretty special. I was able to pick up a DG variable lens 12 to 60 off of Avra. This is the 12 to 60 that is got a 2.8 aperture varied to a 4.0 and we're going to be fixing this today so when I went to go pick it up I realized that the mounting collar is broken so I wasn't able to test the lens I wasn't sure if it worked or not so I picked it up for 60 bucks I have the replacement part right here I have so super glue just in case. And we are going to repair this lens. So I have my toolkit from repairing a couple of Nintendo switches. I think the Joy-Con switch. Uh, came with the toolkit and I have it from repairing an iPad and I repair a lot of things so I'm gonna go ahead and just start taking this apart I go first with the three screws on the outside one two three looks like that one's spinning let me go grab some gloves real quick. You definitely want some gloves. I got it. and a microfiber towel. So I got my gloves now. And this screw is spinning, which leads me to believe this housing is moving. That that screw mount is broken. One, two, for this inner housing. Please ignore the dog. As you can see here, there's another itty bitty screw. I believe we can remove this inner housing. what's going to connect the sensor to this mounting bracket. So in all, three, two, one, but we got this one stuck. So yeah, you can see there, it's broken off. So we got to remove that. I'm going to just hold it with my tweezers. Working. Alright, it's off. There we go. Here's the inner workings. And that's the top mount that is busted. So I gotta repair that screw mount. I'm gonna look at this in fine detail. Try and figure out what angle it goes in at. It's a little difficult, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to replace the screw. I'm going to feel it. Twist it. 
twist it until I feel like it's seating properly. That's it. That's it right there. Yeah, that's it. All I'm doing is turning it ever so slightly in any direction until I feel it just kind of sit in a nice solid position that's that's it right there so next I'm gonna have to take some glue and glue this down but you gotta remember one big thing don't want the screw anywhere near that glue or else I'm going to lose it okay let's get some glue started amount of glue it's too much sensitive equipment I'm going to use my other tools they have That's way too much. Let's see if I can close this back up. that. Now it's time to secure this base.
Okay, looks like we got that secured. I'm going to tilt this. I don't want any other glue getting anywhere. Possibly damaging the lens. Okay, let's try and back out the screw. And we were able to back that screw out. Just inspect, make sure that glue didn't get anywhere near any sensitive equipment. Trip down anywhere. No, we are good. No glue anywhere. Perfect. So now, we're going to take the new, we're going to take the new metal bracket. They're both metal. This one's aluminum. This one looks like it's aluminum as well. There's a slight different polish to it. So we're going to get this placed on here. Best way to do it is that sensor array. Well, let's make sure our screw holes are lined up. They are. Sensor array goes in the back. And you gotta just barely lift it onto the housing. It has this little tiny housing, these little tiny nooks that it sits in. And you wanna line up that screw hole as well. You gotta be very gentle. There we go. Oh, just have it. Another thing I like to do is I'm going to get this screw ready. this very gently place this onto the housing once I get that hole almost lined up Again. There we are. As you can see, it's set. It's perfect. So I'm also going to take these, gently hold it. While I place the screw in there, so gently hold it. the tweezers and now we have the sensors perfectly on there. Next we install the inner housing. Now there's an o-ring on this whole assembly both this inner housing and the outer one which weatherproofs or weather, weather seals this system. Okay, now we're going to 
take note, this was the one that we repaired. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to install the two other ones, not torqued all the way down though. I'm going to let this other one kind of gas off. I'm going uh, to just secure these two. Not all the way, but just enough. Now I'm going to test to make sure that this is aligned proper. slightly off, but it's still sitting in there. So now I'm going to go ahead and back these out. Now with this lens specifically, it has a larger lens ribbon for the sensor. Other ones don't. It looks like we still have it sitting there. So that's good. I want to be able to do that with the other 12 to 60 for the Panasonic. Because the lens ribbon on that is very small. And I believe also for the 25mm Prime, very, very small lens ribbon, sensor ribbon. So I'm just going secure it and there you have it I'm filming currently on my MTF camera so I can't <laughs> test it just yet but I've tested this lens already and it works so this is a six to eight hundred dollar lens I picked it up for 60 bucks. I paid I believe $10 for this back mount. $5 for super glue. And I have now a seven to eight hundred dollar lens for 60 bucks. 70 bucks. So literally a tenth the price of what it would have cost me to buy this brand new. The caveat to this is, this has been dropped. I did notice that right here we have a dent in this lens, but it works perfectly fine. It's a great lens. I already have a... Didn't come with the lens hood though. And those lens hoods are like 20 to 50 bucks, which is kind of dumb, but... Yeah, that's how you repair or replace the back mounting plate for your lens. So if you guys have any other lenses that you guys want me to kind of advise you on whether or not you want to repair it, or if you guys want to send me some lenses, put it down in the comments and I'll repair them. I've actually taken apart every single lens I own except for the 14 that I'm filming on right now. Uh, not all the way, but just the stuff I can take apart, I've taken apart because you don't want to mess with the groupings or the elements. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I also do a lot of switch and iPad repairs because of my kids, I'll probably film a couple of those.